Clearance required. DO-1-0001 eyes only. Emergency access. The following file is banned from all access at any clearance level and quarantined from the SCP database. Access to this page is to only be attempted by the Department of One in the event of Contingency One being called into effect. If you are not a member of the Department of One, stop reading immediately and close this page now. By opening the file below, you will immediately activate Contingency 1 and understand the ramifications of such a process. This process cannot be reversed for any reason. By nature of your position, you have been granted access to trigger Contingency 1 without the need for Overseer Council oversight. It is trusted that you are aware of the circumstances requiring a Contingency 1 activation and will not access this page early or without proximate and urgent need. If you wish to proceed with this action, a button only visible to you will permanently unlock the contents of this file. Item Number SCP-6511 Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures You are to read this document and follow the instructions within. Description SCP-6511 is a series of emergency protocols, causing the intentional and near-complete removal of the SCP Foundation and its constituent components from reality. SCP-6511 is this page, and all instructions and information within it, which acts as the outward manifestation of these protocols. Do not stop reading. The mechanisms allowing for the existence of SCP-6511 are inherently encoded into all people, objects, and concepts adjacent to the Foundation. The utilization of SCP-6511 is dependent on the activation of Contingency-1, a mechanism exclusively keyed to the Foundation Department of One. Please note that SCP-6511 is only to be used in a scenario where the Foundation's continued existence is a threat to itself and to established reality. The Department of One was created as part of initial formulation of SCP-6511. It is unique in that it consists of a single individual, which acts as its entire staff at any and all points in time. The death of a Department of One is immediately followed by the appointment of a replacement, and only one can exist at a time. The current Department of One is to be isolated from the vast majority of Foundation operations, and not to be given additional duties beyond those granted by their Department membership. The preservation of the Department of One is to be ensured at all costs. If you are reading this version of the document, you possess Department of One clearance. In a scenario where SCP-6511 protocols must be executed, it is currently your responsibility to activate the mechanism, neutralize the threat, and restore the SCP Foundation. By the nature of the consequences of activating SCP-6511, it is unknown how much of this or any other information you will retain following the activation. Potential threats that may require the activation of SCP-6511 are, by the nature of this protocol, almost entirely unknown and not understood. The success of the Department of One in restoring the Foundation is dependent almost entirely on factors outside of the Foundation's control. For these reasons, SCP-6511 should only be activated in cases where any other option would result in the destruction of the SCP Foundation or worse. The origins and creators of SCP-6511 are currently unknown. Similarly, the record of Contingency-1 activations is also unknown, although inconsistencies in historical records of the Foundation suggest possible reference points. By virtue of your position, you are also believed to have knowledge of the SCP-6511 activation record that is not available to any other member of the Foundation. However, this suspicion has never been confirmed by you or any of your predecessors. If you have reached this section of the file, Contingency 1 has already been activated. Continue reading for further instructions. Do not stop reading under any circumstances. The Department of One, which is yourself, is a division of the Foundation that exists entirely outside of its sectional hierarchy. It is imperative that you understand the full responsibilities of the Department of One before you are forced to begin them shortly. You are not safe here. The SCP Foundation has, for the entirety of its existence, enjoyed the position of reigning warden over the anomalous world, if not the world at large itself. 
It wields nearly unlimited political, financial, and physical power, to the point that opposition to our goals is easily understood, confronted, or managed through the employment of the resources at our disposal. We have weathered many storms and come out relatively intact. We are tempted to view ourselves as the apex predators of the anomalous world. However, the greatest misconception of the average Foundation employee is that this does not mean we are invincible. Imagine a being with the traits of a perfect predator, a being that can match its prey's every move, parrying all attacks and breaking every defense, knowing exactly where it is at all times. These beings are the ultimate liability for the Foundation. A sufficiently powerful organization, entity, or other unknown force with the ability to relentlessly, completely, and instantly fix upon targets without needing even its knowledge is the only unbeatable threat to the Foundation. It will run. It will follow. It will shake off and adapt to our every attempt at attack. But we are paralyzed, so resiliently stable, so swelled with our own power that nothing can stop the inevitable point where it finds our neon sign and pounces. When an entity is rendered prey, it essentially has two options, fight or flight. Direct confrontation to neutralize the threat or simply evading it until it's eventually shaken or lured away. But the perfect predator is unfazed by either. It will keep stalking you, never running out of energy or resources no matter how far you go. And when you least expect it, it will destroy you in an instant, leaving no trace, no time for you to even scream. Evolution will create such beings, ideal survivors, feeders, lurking in every corner of the anomalous world. Perfect defense is nothing to the perfect predator. In the face of such an entity, the only creatures that have a chance to survive are something entirely new. A perfect hider. Something with the ability not just to run, but to disappear. The ultimate form of playing dead. To die for so long that the hunter that's marked you will grow bored of the chase, wither away, or even die. It's a waiting game, and for the entirety of that game, you must never, ever be found. If the Foundation is made the quarry of this hypothetical being, it must hide. These entities are real, and Department of One protocols are engaged when the SCP Foundation is targeted by such a predator. The origin of this text is unknown. The activation of Contingency 1 and the opening of this file implies that such a threat to the Foundation has been identified. Not only this, but the threat is here, present, and further existence of the Foundation in its current form is no longer possible. If this file has been opened, the entity that caused the activation of this iteration of the Department of One has already detected the Foundation. It is impossible to say how close it is to seeing you. The protocols that you are responsible for are the process by which the SCP Foundation, its history and record of existence, and its knowledge as a concept are changed into a vastly different form that allows for it to remain undetected and absent from the world for an indefinite, extended period of time. They are strictly only to be employed when all other options of dealing with an existential threat to the Foundation have been exhausted, and it is decided that the destruction of the Foundation is preferable to the alternative. The Department of One is the failsafe that is attached to this act of self-destruction. Its duty is to reverse the restructured reality and return the Foundation to normal existence when the time is right. The Department is the Sentinel, the torchbearer that watches the threat for as long as it can, that holds the key that resurrects the Foundation from its long and deep sleep. They are the sole remaining employee of the Foundation during these periods, the key to unlock the Shallow Coffin. You are the designated survivor of the SCP Foundation. As of your reading of this text, the SCP Foundation has been dissolved, effective immediately. Unlocking this secure page and connecting it to the main SCP database has released a rapid affecting computer virus that is designed to circumvent all rise of firewalls and lock the entirety of the Foundation's operating servers. Reality must be prepared for the change, and the lights are going out, one by one. You are currently the only remaining employee of the Foundation. You will receive no further contact or communication from any other member of the Foundation, including the Overseer Council, as it no longer exists. Your sole directive is to ensure the survival of the Foundation by any means necessary. If you have reached this section of the file, the current operational state of the Foundation has been saved and encoded in a secure location. Continue reading for further instructions. These are instructions for the end of the world. You are to watch as the Foundation crumbles and turns into ash before your eyes. You are to feel the world shrink around you, collecting every last trace of that which must not be seen, and hiding it away until the only remains are empty space. 
You will feel the taste of every fragment as it breaks away from the hole. You are to stand in the midst of the space. You are to ignore the dark creeping in at the edges of your eyes. You are to wait until it reaches you and the borders of unreality nip at your skin. You will know that all is finally locked away. You are to close your eyes so that you can remember the shape and the texture of the SCP Foundation in your hands. You are to burn the image of its disintegration into your brain so that when you find yourself forgetful on the other side of the door, you will still see us in your dreams. You are to be responsible for the end of the SCP Foundation. You are to attempt not to cry out as the rapidly cascading reality finally shatters onto your body. You will fail. Remember what you say. You are to awaken in a world that has never seen the Foundation and a life that you have always lived. You are to try and remember. You are to be followed by an enemy which takes a form that is unknowable. You are to be hunted to the death. You are to try and remember. You are to avoid death or destruction. You are to survive as long as necessary until you understand how the threat is to be neutralized. You are to try and remember. You will wait. You are the prisoner of time. You will watch, just as it watches you. You will find a way to revert the changes in reality only when it is safe to do so. You must determine when safety is guaranteed. You are to bring back the SCP Foundation from a world where it does not and has never existed. We cannot tell you how this is done. We do not know. We have never known. You are to become one. If you have reached this section of the file, the Foundation's physical and informational structure has now been crippled beyond regular function. To conclude the CK class reality restructure, continue reading and follow the instructions below. You are to read your eulogy. There is a dead tree just outside your window, where the last traces of the Foundation lie. You stand in the remnants of its shattered form. You breathe in its ashes every time you inhale. Walk to it. You are responsible for the continued survival of the SCP Foundation and the consensus reality that is tied to it. You have always been responsible since the day you were selected and told you were the Department of One, and told that your only job was to sit there and live and waste away until you received the secure message telling you to find this file in the database and open it. You thought you would never receive that message, that they had all forgotten about you because it was their job to. You were not told that this was always to be your final resting place, and that this was decided the moment you became what you were. In one sense, you are the only one that will remain alive past the break in reality. In another, you are the only one that will die. Everything else in this reality will be effortlessly restored when you return with your mission complete. They will not know that for a time indefinite, they did not exist and never existed. It is your responsibility to know that you destroyed them all, and then you will forget. You die when you forget that you lived this life in the first place. You will forget your entire life, the world you were a part of, the words that are written on this page. That's the one catch in the plan we have never been able to figure out. You are now alone in a dead reality. You have received all the documentation for your role as the Department of One. There is no other help to give. The file has run out. You will leave everything behind. You lived a good, honorable life. Watch the tree carefully. Proceed to the designated location. This file will be the only one left online. Read to the very end of this file. You are not safe here, but the Foundation will be. You have reached the end of this file. Contingency 1 is now complete. To execute all SCP-6511 protocols, find a resting place. You will be woken momentarily. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Everborn, Joe Light, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.